I'm Jake. Um, I'm a rising junior at East Denver East High School, and my project is a self-balancing Segway. So um, this is my robot right here, my two motors and my balancing and such. Uh, this is a schematic that I drew up of my three boards and where to plug them in and everything, uh, something to reference to while I breadboarded it. Uh, this one here, both of these, um, it, this is my motor driver. It's dual H bridge, meaning it can drive uh, two motors at once, as you can see plugged in here. Um, it drives motors and is connected to my microcontroller, which is a, um, a TNC 3.1. Uh, it can it controls everything. It's a brain, um, and it connects straight to my computer by this USB cable. Uh, this is my IMU. It's a nine degrees of freedom IMU, meaning it has uh, a three-axis accelerometer, a three-axis gyro, and a uh, three-axis magnometer on it uh, for heading. So those those that's what that does. Um, it measures tilt and the direction of gravity and, and uh, acceleration in order to later use that to make my robot balance. So this is my serial code. This is the code that reads my um, IMU values, specifically my magnometer and my accelerometer values. Those are on one IC chip. So it reads that one chip um, through this code and displays it in the serial, serial monitor to show the direction of gravity and my heading in terms of north, south, east, and west uh, magnetic. So this is my uh, motor driving code. This is, the, this is a test sketch that I wrote to uh, test to make sure both my motors work. Um, it runs one motor, um, motor two specifically, uh, uses four pins actually, three to drive the motor, um, two inputs in a PWM, and then one to measure current of the motor, see and it uh, displays it in the serial monitor, see uh, how much current is being drawn by the motor at any particular point. So this is gonna be the motor driving code that uh, drives the motor to test whether it works or not. So it drives one direction three seconds, the other direction three seconds, and then stops for three seconds. Um, and it continues doing that forever in a uh, void loop, obviously. Uh, this is just to test motors, and then obviously I can plug in the other motor or change the values in order to get it to drive the other motor um, to test both motors. I, test, I use this to test my motors to make sure that they work. Alright, so this is my serial code right here, uh, and it's running to read the IMU. Um, and when I like obviously so like it's the accelerometer for example is measuring the um, the direction of gravity so this is near 17,000 the last value right now and then when I tilt it to one side now it goes to about negative uh, 500 so uh, it reads through the values of both the magnometer which is the heading and the uh, accelerometer which is the direction of gravity um, in order to display those values um, at a certain baud rate on my serial monitor. Alright, so uh, some of the problems that I had with uh, getting this stuff to work, uh, I was originally going to use a Intel Edison, which is um, a microchip with an atom in it. Uh, it's a really, really powerful chip that uh, I ordered originally for my project, but uh, I ordered Spark Fun blocks with it and it eventually ended up with um, not working with a lot of my program. It didn't work with Arduino, IDE, and such. Uh, so in order to fix that, I have decided to use a TNC uh, 3.1 instead. And um, that has been working great so far. Uh, and when I, some of the things I've learned, for example, I learned how to use a TNC. I learned how to breadboard. I had not learned how to breadboard before. Um, I, hadn't, I hadn't soldered before either, so I learned how to solder. Uh, and I learned how to write some basic code uh, to drive my motors and make them run and such. Uh, I learned how to do that. Um, and then my next, pro my next step in this process is probably going to be um, it's probably going to be getting my IMU to read those values that it gives out and then use them to drive my motors so that I can tilt my IMU and the motors will drive. Uh, that's one more step towards balance.